Five dollars is all his mom will allow him to spend. It's a dose of Buckley. So, about a month or two ago, GameCrush.com officially launched. You might have heard about this little novelty earlier in the year when it was announced and just in the testing phase. If not, or you need a refresher, Game Crush is a site where guys can go to pay women to play video games with them, which sounds like it'd be the nerdiest brothel ever if it was a physical place you went to do this. For 60 cents a minute, which works out to 36 bucks an hour, a girl of your choosing will play video games and chat with you online via the very same headset microphone you probably normally use to call each other homos while you play Halo or something. So when I heard this thing went public, I thought, all right, let's see what people are paying for. And I gotta say, it's pretty slim pickings, and in many cases, I don't necessarily mean slim in a literal sense either. To be blunt, there's some very unattractive girls on this site. Now, before anyone starts in with any sort of bullshit about me being a sexist asshole who's no one to talk, yes, I'll admit that I'm not very attractive to the opposite sex, and my negative and off-putting personality doesn't help sweeten the deal. But I'm also not charging people for this so-called privilege to spend time with me. I'm not even going to take shots at the fact that some of these women are basically phone sex operators and cam whores with video game controllers. That's fine by me. But for Christ's sake, men are paying for this. The girls on a webcam, should they not at least be hot? It'd be like driving over to a strip club full of fat or anorexic chicks and people getting angry at you for saying, well, that was a waste of gas money. I'm sure they're all nice girls, very lovely people on the inside, but that's not the point of this, is it? The point is, Game Crush is selling you on the sexual thrill of it. Hot, nerdy chicks who will play video games with you and flirt with you for as long as you're willing to pay for it, some of them willing to get naked depending on how much you're willing to spend, and they appear to have pretty much no screening process whatsoever because I'm pretty sure I could shave my face and put a wig on and I'd still manage to be on the site and be about par for the course. I know they say that beggars can't be choosers, but this site is really testing that theory out. Are you such a loser that you're willing to pay to interact with girls who are at best a high six, girls you could probably date even if you are a hopeless nerd living in your parents' basement who fantasizes about playing strip Call of Duty with a girl? Well then, GameCrush.com is the perfect site for you.